Hello one and all, this is I, Ragarath, back again with my Satisfactory series, and today we are going to be mostly looking at uh, uh, getting ready to complete phase two of our space station-y thing. Now for this, we need these, uh, I don't know what they're called, um, let's put an assembler down somewhere so we can see what they're called. They are called versatile frameworks. So to make versatile frameworks, we actually need steel because if you have a look here, we need to make steel beams. Now we're not making steel at the moment, so this episode is going to be all about making some steel. So let's get on. Now we've got this one, which is only running at half speed at the moment, this copper vein here. So what I was going to do was split this out initially so that this is then making 60 per minute, which it can do. It can do this. So let's put a splitter on. And then we'll have a joiner on down here. So we want to split this. I'm going to bring it out both sides. This is slightly in the way, but we'll ignore that for now. So we want this to come down this way. So let's bring them down to there. Just so it's past this green bit. So we don't have to build on the green bits. Like that, I think. Yeah. I probably should have put down the smelters first. But hopefully they'll snap on. Let's have a look. Do they snap? Does that actually join it on if I put it? on like that. I wonder. I do wonder indeed. Right. Let's give this a try. So, let's power this. No. Basically it doesn't, so I need to redo these. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, and there's a, there's a thing under there, look. Oh my god. I can't get it out. Right. So let's try this again. And get it right. So I'll basically want one of those there. And one on this side. Let's get rid of these first. And in the middle of this. And there. There we go. Right. So what we can do here then is... Oh, not that one. Let's come out of that side and into there. And out of this side and into there. There we go. They should now work. We also want... Probably not this here. We're gonna want... One of them to come down here, I think. So if we put one in this corner here. Oh, we've already got one behind there. I didn't realize that. Fool! I thought it would power it directly. Okay. So we probably want another line coming down here because we're gonna we're gonna go up and discover the the iron ore. It's up here somewhere. Yeah, over here, like 224. <laughs> There's some over there, though, at 189. Ooh. Anyway. Um, this can power this one. Yeah, looks a bit crap. I'm going to move it down here. I'm going to put in a pole here somewhere. Look at that. That'll do. And then that one. Compare that. And this one. And you can power. Uh, a 
I wish removing these you could leave the lines up. It's very annoying. So if we do that, and then another one to there. They are now powered. And this can be powered from this one. Like that. Okay. So you're making copper ingots. You're making copper ingots. Now, I only want one of these to carry on down here. So let's get rid of this. Which one are we going to use? I'm going to use this one because I think I might have my steel production here. So if I use this one to carry this on. Oh, not far enough. Is that right angle? No. 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 One, two. Okay. Let me get rid of the, the stands here. Nice. Right. So that should now carry on with our production down there. And this one can be utilised for making our steel. So let's go and find where this... I think I'm going to find these ones. We're going to need a bombing knocker because there'll be nasty creatures surely somewhere around here. There's a slug. Let's get the slug. Yep, nasty creatures look. Ow! You bummy knocked at me. Go away! Right, so there's one here. There's a slug up there, so let's get the slug out of the way first. Because the slugs do annoy me. Uh, foundations. I think soup should also be the default construction mode. Right. So these are both right next to each other. That's cool. Right, let's get rid of this. Now, they're right next to each other. Are these... So that's a normal node. And that's the normal node as well, so that's a lot of iron. That is a lot of iron. Uh, let's bring these across and see if we can keep it at the same level. Or are we going to have to go up a level? I think we might have to go up a level from this, right? Because if I join that on... Oh, not in zoop mode. Oh, 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 this might be all right, guys. This might be all right. So we want to go this way. So up to wherever this got to. Yeah, this is going to be all right. Look at this. Okay, we've gone through a big rock, but <laughs> we can change that up later. Go that way. And then these, ah, this is going to work perfect. We can just lay out this whole area. Or not, because we've run out of freaking concrete. Concrete's always the problem. We need to chop some trees down. Tree, go bye bye. Uh, can't get that one. Can get it under me? Yeah. There we go. Can't get back up now. Oh. Alright, concrete. The bane of our life. I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back with some concrete. And let's uh, just fill this in so we've got the right, the right line down here. 
probably join it on over there, but that's going to come down over here, isn't it? Anyway, moving swiftly on, let's get these built up here. So we need to finish off laying in this. I'm going to put one there as well. May as well fill this whole area in here. Oh, we're running out of plates. Oh, really? Am I going to need plates for building a miner? Yes. So we're going to have to destroy this line here, I reckon. Just to get us some plates back. There we go. Now we got some plates back. That's good. Get rid of that one as well. There we go. Right, let's put down a miner over here somewhere. Right, so you're going to go east west, which is there. Oh, we haven't made the miners. Be right back. Okay, so I am back with the appropriate stuff to build a miner. Okay, so this one's going to go on here. And this one, I think I'm going to turn this north-south. Now, each of them is going to be doing 60 per minute. So can we fit that on a Mark II conveyor? Yeah, that's 120. So we can have these join. We can have a joiner in the middle of this platform. Uh... That's not, a, that's not a joiner. That's a, it was. Merger. There we go. So. You want it going that way. Like that. Is that in the right place? No. There we go. Okay. That's not in line with that though. My god, darn it. So close. So I want that lining up with that. Why is it not lining up? Tell me you're lining up. Is that lined? That's lined. Right. So that one can go into there. This one needs to... So it's on this line. One, two... Oh, this is... This is not coming out like... Oh my god, plates! Really? It really doesn't like us, does it? Okay, we'll get rid of these end ones as well. Just so we got enough plates to finish this, because I need to start building more plates, I think. Right, so... That's not going to work. That's so not going to work. Right, let's come out this way. Is there a way to turn snapping off? Yes. At least there's a way of it letting me snap. Oh, but that's not going to work. Oh my god. we got to come out of this one first. So, if we go into snapping mode, so that's roughly two, isn't it? One, two. So that's roughly nine degrees. I can't get that one quite at ninety degrees, just because this is off center. It's so annoying. But there we go. Right, let's get. Uh, power down here. Now we can bring power off this corner and bring it over to here. So we don't need to go back over to this side. So we can bring this down to this corner. 
And then this one can go as far as possible down here. Not that far, obviously. And then this one can feed both of these. Now, I'm not going to have enough plates now to get this anywhere near where I want it. So, guess what I'm going to do? I'll be back. Okay, I didn't run out of plates, honest. Let's, uh, let's now finish this, shall we? So, let's get these coming back over this way. Now, is this in the right place? Did I build this in the right place? I'm not sure. Uh, where did he run out there? No, okay, so this wasn't in the right place. I kind of... Hang on, this is doing 60 a minute. Where am I going to have this? If I do it on the same level as this, then I can have it making... Yes, this is what we'll do. I'll have it making the steel on the same level. does mean I need to get rid of this before it gets here. So what we want is... Uh, how many do these do? 30 a minute? So I'm going to need four making steel. Is it 30 a minute these do? Yeah. So I'm going to need four of these doing steel. And we don't have enough... Oh my gosh, I don't have enough of anything this episode, do I? It's going to be lots of uh, skipping back and forth, guys. Okay, guess who's back? Back again. Have I got enough to build another section along here? Yes, he says reluctantly. Do I have enough for a crafting table, actually? I can build a crafting table over here. Then I can steal the bits I want, can't I? Uh, where do the crafting table... Crafting bench. Yeah, look. Build a crafting bench and just dump it down randomly. Then I can... Uh, as long as I've got one... Yeah, now I can make the bits I need. That was a simpler idea, wasn't it? Right. Let me copy that. So this needs to split into four. So I need to do a split into two and then into two again. So... Hmm. Where are we going to put these? This is going to have to go here, I think, the splits. But I need to make sure I've got enough to build one smelter. Oh, I can build multiple smelters because... We don't need plates for them. That's good. So can I fill that in? No. We'll have to wait. Right. Do we need plates for these, though? We do need plates for the splitters. So we've got enough for two splitters. That's good. Let's put a splitter here. Uh, no, we're going to do a splitter here. Which will split it into this one, and then this becomes a splitter. We're going to need a third splitter, aren't we? So we need two more plates. And these are going to come along here. So there'll be one there. Which will be joined up with... Oh, no, we don't. Oh, my gosh! Need some plates. Need some plates. <laughs> right. I oh, know this is the wrong way around. 
So this splitter wants to go there. Right, can we... We'll get this into the initial splitter. Because we need to be making some iron ingots. If I can make iron ingots, then... Well, I think I can grab these off of the craft bench and just make make them. Let's give that a try because I've ran out. Right. Let's see if this works. Can I make them on the craft bench? I've forgotten it's been so long since I made this on the craft bench. Uh, yeah, I can make iron ingots on the craft bench. A bit slow though, so I'll skip ahead on this bit. Okay, I have now made enough plates to hopefully get this going automatically. So we want to turn that that way, and that, that way, there we go. Nice. And this one can go into... <laughs> I put this in backwards. Oh. So funny. Right. I think it's probably about, is it in front or behind? So the front ones are, oh, the back ones are on there, I think. Yeah, back, back is definitely on, that's correct, right. So these actually need to be like, tier two, don't they? Oh, I'm an idiot. Have I got enough to fulfill this? Let's see. Yes, the combined belt becomes tier two. The other ones can be tier one, that's fine. Right, then that's splitting and splitting once and then twice. So there should be 60 a minute coming into this, and these need 30 a minute. So the second one of these. Oh, what's going on here? That way. There we go. Yes, yeah, so it comes down the middle of this, doesn't it? So what if we put this right next to it? It's definitely over a bit more, isn't it? Right. So, let's do... Nice. Here we go. So that's those two done. And to power, we can bring from here. Uh, where are we going to go with these? I'm going to bring them back. I don't know. Here. Let's just do that for now. And then we can power that and that. And you want to make iron ingots. You want to make iron ingots. Nice! And then we also, though, need to have a belt coming from here, going to another one. So if we're going to have another one of you there, and another one there, it down the side of them. That's right. Nice. Looks good. So we want one of you in line with this. And look at that in place because I need to get this lined up and it doesn't seem to be telling me that it was in line. So that's in line. Nice. And then this one can come out and go in here.
Yes. Look at this. Nice. And you go into there. And you go straight in there. Wonderful. So that is now making us lots and lots and lots of iron ingots. Ooh. Or it would do if I put another one of these down. Nice. So the next step then is to, I'm going to fill this whole area in. Let's do this. So let's grab ourselves some ingots out and we can turn these into plates really quick. Bum, 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 ba -dum, bum, plates, plates, plates. All right, let's have some of those plates. Be right back. Right, that's that done. How, oh, have we got enough? Have we got enough foundations? Have we got enough concrete to do this? I don't know. I mean, it looks like we've got a reasonable amount of concrete. So, let's see if we can... Let's see if we can do it. See, let's see... Okay, so that's digging into this bit of ground here, which is a little tad annoying, but... Oh, we had just enough concrete to fill that in. That is awesome. This bit of grass is going to annoy me in the middle, but we'll sort that out later. And these need to be, I'm afraid, chopped up. Because we don't want them annoying. Oh, I can't, can't get that one. I'm sure there are plenty more of those across the world that I, I can worry about later. Okay, so getting next production going. I think we need foundries. Foundries mix two bits. Ah, oh, but we need concrete. Darn concrete. Okay, I am back with more concrete. Let's, let's uh, see what we're going to do with this foundry. I think I'm going to line the foundry up in the middle and bring them back around, I think. Because I think if we have a foundry, say, here... I'm going to put it here. Foundry can go here. Now, how many does it need for still ingot? It needs 45 per minute. So it needs one and a half of these, which is going to be easy enough to do. I can put a... A merger right in the front of this, like so. You can come out to there. You can not do anything because I've ran out again of plates. Would you believe? Oh my gosh, so many plates. And I deleted my crafting table because I want to put that there. And I don't even have enough plates to make a crafting table. Right, back again. Hey, the boring bit's over with again. <laughs> Let's uh, see what we can do here. Yes. Right, so we need to feed this into one of the inputs at the back now, because this will be producing enough. So let's just take it straight down the middle. This. Like 
and we can bring it into the middle of this one. Should then allow us to do that. So, when things get too close, I found out that you can hold down the snapping key and it stops them snapping, which is great. And now we have this nice little wiggle into this. Right, so first we need some power over here. So we're just going to power it from here. Now we need to get this down. Uh, let's get our copper over to our steel production. Which is going to come from this one. But we're going to need some from this as well, aren't we? So we're going to have to get rid of this. And put a splitter... In the middle here. And join that back up. Join this one back up here. And then we need a merger here in the middle. Going that way. Okay. And this is going to come across to the middle here. One, two, nice. And then down to this one. One, one, two. So keeping it all nice and straight and making me happy. And then we want this, which we've run out of plates again. Oh. Life is so difficult, guys. Don't know how many plates we're going to need for that, but let's create a few. See if we can get it finished off here. Right, so it makes two plates each one, so we've probably got quite a few now, haven't we? We've got 36. That'll do. Right. So, what we want is one, two, like that, I think. No, no, that's the wrong one. One, two. Yes. That's it. That is now functional, and we'll be making our steel at 45 per minute. Now, obviously, this is a new part of the factory over here. So, we go, should we make the... Yeah, let's make it here. I'm going to have a look and see if we can make our assembly. So, let's just dump this down and have a look. So, what do we need? We need beams and frames. But we don't have the frames over here. So, I think it might be better just to transport the steel back to our main factory over here. So, that is going to require um, some more plates. So, I'll be back. Okay, I've got them. Let's do this. Right. So, we kind of want to take this along with the copper. So, let's just do it along the exact same route as the copper. Would you add a mini it? It's just a bit too long. <laughs> and it's going to kind of join on to a bus, isn't it? Yeah, we like buses. Now, why is this not making anything? What else does this need? You know what I've done? I've done something extremely stupid. It isn't copper that this needs. It's coal. Why was I thinking it was copper? That is the most idiotic thing ever. 
Right. That was idiotic. So, coal. We need coal. Let's, uh, scan for coal. Any of it this way? Oh, yeah, but a long way away. And we've got our coal over there. But that's also a long way away from here. And that's feeding our power stations. So let's use this coal over this way. Let's go and have a look. For those of you that were shouting at me that I've done this all wrong, um, I do apologize. <laughs> oh dear. Such is life, hey. Right, let's go up here a minute. Right, so where do we have to get to for coal? Uh, coal, coal, coal. Was it over this way? Yes. There's a thing here to kill. Some more iron here. So th this iron would have probably been the better one to do it on then. Ah, oh, what? I feel so stupid right now. I just, I, ah, I, oh, so stupid. Right, coal, this way. So for the moment, because I haven't really come out here yet and I don't want to grab, oh my God, where's coal? Is it up on this? Uh oh. Hear things. Die, thing. Where were you there? There's no resource. So is the coal off on top? Oh look, what's this? Bacon and garlic? Oh. Potential edible collected. Reminder that look and smell alone do not provide sufficient data to determine exact risk of consumption. It is Just up because there. it looks like Ooh. you can eat it does not mean it won't eat you. So far. Research it in the MAM to establish classification and potential application. Unknown chemical element collected. This Not really, because it told us what it was. Seems to be present <gasps> only in a solid state this? and exhibits a most pungent smell. Sweet fade is finished. Fix it helmets are of such high quality. Research it in the MAM to establish classification and potential application. Oh, there it is. Oh, can they not come in the water? Can I just stand at the water's edge? Ha ha! Oh no, he came in the water. Can't. I'm so fast swimming. Here we go. America. This is it. The astrobiologist Dr. D. M. Mercer was the first to recognize the presence and probable nature of these alien artifacts. These chain melted state spheres are named in his honor. Each sphere emits a unique signal. Research it in the MAM to establish locally appropriate classification and application. Okay, all I think I'm going to do is I'm going to build up here so if we take a ramp okay so this isn't going to be on my grid unfortunately to start with but i'm just gonna have this just to get this coal down because it was up here here it is oh ah oh you can aim where I'm going to jump. Oh God. Die. Right. Yeah. Okay. Let's chew this off a minute and get this out of the way. There we go. Right. Let's put some plates down. Okay. Right, we need to put... Uh, oh, we don't have a drill. We don't have a drill, guys. I'll be back. Okay, so <laughs> I went and built some. 
And I also, I thought, I may as well do it while I'm here. I've connected this to our grid. So this is now on the grid layout. And I was so close with this ramp. This ramp was about 10 pixels out of the grid. I've, I've no idea how I got it so close, but it wasn't quite there. So I did rebuild this bit as well. But I should now be able to put down a miner up here. And this miner wants to go in like here. Nice. Now, because this is coal, we are just going to take it down over to our buildings over here. I love how far we can see now. It's so cool. Um, so this needs to, first of all, come down and then... Is that, that's, again, not quite on the grid, is it? I wish there was a grid. I really wish there was a grid. Why can't I turn that? That's not letting me rotate it. I'm going to put it here, just to get it out. Why is it not rotating? That's not rotating. What? Why? You can see it lighting up down at the bottom, but it's not rotating the head. What what's going on here? Have I changed build mode? It's a different default. Straight Ah Oh my god, I didn't need to line it all up. I can't believe this guys. There's a straight build mode. And it builds it automatically for me. Without me having to line it up. Oh no, hang on, this is weird. Why are you doing that? What are you doing, game? Oh, I'm going to have another one of these weird bits, aren't I? Oh well. Oh well. this right across and we're gonna have to power this as well it looks like I've got enough stuff on me for completing this at least okay I'm gonna do this manually because at least it gets it to where I want it Rather than... Is that straight? That is straight, isn't it? It just looks weird. Ooh. Right. It's going to stop just before. Yeah, thought so. Right. I don't know why there's arbitrary limits on... on the belt link. Seems a bit... a bit strange, really, having arbitrary limits. Must be a game or not a game design reason, not necessarily a gameplay reason. Oh, this is lining up exactly with. No, no, really, really. I'm gonna put some of this across. Have I really lined up exactly with that? That's ridiculous. That is, that is brilliant. I love that. Okay, so these need to like, go away because they shouldn't be there. But if I bring it out here, I can then bring this down, down the side as well so it's just perfectly straight up here, which I think will look better than, than this being off to the side. Oh, I ran out of stuff. I'm going to have to go 
going to delete some lengths off here. <laughs> Just so I've got enough. I think we need to get rid of that bit as well. So this bit wants to come to there. And you come up to here. Nice. And then I don't have enough left. Let's see if we can get enough from here for the moment. I can always fill that back in later. Really? Ugh. All right. That better be enough. There we go. Oh, do those actually give? These, those give back plates. Nice. Right, then we need power. Power we can get from over here. Oh, we were on this one. Eat this all the way up, and we'll be laughing. I'm going to take it all the way out to the top in case I need more power there later. I'm not sure if I will, because this seems to be... Here we go. The drill should now be coming down. Yeah. This did sit up very high, though, didn't it? But that's okay. Right. Now that that's got done, I'm going to skip forward a little bit, and then we'll finish off getting the steel back to the factory. Okay then, let's uh, finish off getting this back to the base, which I think should now proceed at a decent pace. Uh, go. All right, this needs to go all the way down. I need to get rid of these stands as well at some point. Okay. We are basically now going to be having steel back at the bases. Go and check out where the coal has got to. I'd love how far you can see. Look, I can see the coal coming down. It's great. So much better with this. Right, so the coal is getting here now. No? No. I take it it is coming. I mean... Please? <laughs> Pretty please? Uh, well, yeah, we've got enough power. So the max consumed is 289. Capacity is 300. So we have enough. Although we'll probably need another coal power station soon. Here it comes, look. Really slow. Okay, I'm going to pause this until it's, it's down the end. Okay, so we've got the coal in. But we're not getting... Oh, we're getting coal. <gasps> oh, I see. It requires iron ore. At 45 a minute. Not. I totally misread all of this, didn't I? It really helps if I read. 
So instead of feeding an extra two of these, well, I suppose I can split. Mm, so 35, and then I'm going to split again. So this requires iron ore to make the cut. Make. I thought it was. Ah. Anyway, that is now working. So that's making me some steel. That's good. We like steel. So let's get this in the right positions. Sorry, Tree, you're in the way. Let's not stop production. Right. So this wants to come across this way. This we want to take out because we want to split this one again so that 45 is going into the big construction. So if we get a splitter, lining up with that and there, and then this wants to be a merger. That can go into there. That can split that. That can go into there. And then the spare 15 goes into that, which will only run at half speed, but that's okay. But this should now run at full speed into this. Nice. So that should keep us up running this at 45 per minute. Nice. There we go. Steel is on its way over here. So let's now build the facility that is going to create us the stuff we want. So if we're going to go up to the second level, I think. I think what we'll do is we'll bring this across. Because then the steel doesn't really need to go anywhere, does it? It can just come this way. Like this. Nice. Now, I need... I'm going to put a way up here, just because... It's going to be easier than going across to the other side. So let's put some of these in. And then let's go for uh, foundations for. I think that's going to be. Oh. Yeah, there we go. Nice, which means we can get some resources back by collecting that. And we'll just put another two in here, just so it looks a bit neater. There we go, now we can get up here. And this can come up here. Now we want, what are we gonna be building here? An assembler, I think? which can come, so it needs to be kind of on this line. But I suppose it doesn't really matter where we build this. But if we nudge it over a little bit, give us a bit of room for running down the side. I'm gonna build it there. And then we want this to be building these. Yes. Right. Now, I'm going to have it go through here. So, 
So if I build on this one here a lift. So Yes, this is going to look nice. Then hopefully that, if I turn it around the right way, will come in the right place. Nice, nice lined up. And then we want this. one in. There we go. We can get some back from these actually. But well, that has got in the steel in for production, which is nice. We just now need to get those frames coming up here. How many frames per minute does it need? 2.5 frames. How many do we make from over here? Where are we making frames to? Is this making frames? No, that's second level stuff. So frames must be over here. It's this end one, isn't it? No? This one? No? Where are you, frames? This one? Here they are. So that's making us, how many? Two per minute, so it's not going to be quite enough, but we can take these back up to there, which means we're going to need to build some more bits out. That floor is going to have to come across here. And I'm still unhappy about you, Grass. I'm not sure what to do here. I think what I'm going to have to do, actually, is get rid of this whole row. It's got to be done. There we go. And then I'll have it go up here. Do we need to go up four? Is that four? No, that's, that's not four. That's two. Is that two? It's not, it's three. Oh my gosh, why have I gone up three? Is it just... Oh, I see. I see, I see, I see. Hmm. Well, that is interesting, isn't it? I wish that worked a bit better, but it's going to have to be two ramps, isn't it? It's going to have to be a two and then a one, or a one and then a two. just to get these to line up. And we are out of plates again. So I'm gonna build some more plates, guys, and I'll be right back. Okay, so back again with more stuff. We need uh, to fit these ramps in now. Although, I could just do this with four ramps, couldn't I? And just have them coming down here. And just have them clip through, just so it's... Yeah, I could just have them clip. Uh, but they need to be one back. I'm gonna do this. So, clipping will then make it the same height. That'd be good. Yeah, so 
to do this, though, we're going to need to bring this over first. And then have it do the four ramps. There we go. And then I am going to need to build some to clip through here. So it's a little bit of a waste because these are going to have to clip through. But I think that looks so much better because it's the right clipping level. Oh, look, and the clipping makes them look like they're all one thing as well. That's awesome. Nice. All right, so let's bring that to there. And that to there. There we go. Our factory has really expanded in this episode. It's massively so. Let's build some more walls down here. No, not yet, not yet. I would like to put a wall along here to cover this though. So let's... Uh, uh -huh. Now that's right, because it's going to be between the levels anyway. There we go. Um, we can have one here. There we go. Nice. Look at that. Our factory is taking shape, guys. Right. So I want to get up here. So for the moment, I'm going to build some temporary again. Things just for me to get up. Now, I need to have it coming down this side. So what we'll do is we'll build from this end. Mm, that's wrong. That did not look good. There we go. I want it going down here. We can just build it to there for the moment because we need to go down here. Right, so this is going to be awkward. we clip this on for the moment? Yeah. Nice. And it was along the edge of this somewhere that I want it to be. So it needs to be, yeah, it's on the line, so that's all right. We can work that in, in the middle here, by using our conveyor lifts. Now, we want these coming down, so by default they go up. So we need to reverse that. But that. Or not. Perhaps I got that wrong. Perhaps by default they go down. Hang on. No, that was pointing, that was definitely pointing the right way. Oh, it's because I am lifting them, aren't I? I am lifting. So it needs to be the default direction. There we go. I'm not taking away, I'm bringing it in. There we go. Right. And then that can go, because we don't need that. But you can come this way. Because we want to be taking from out of there. So we just need to come straight down the line. Um, 
Am I running out of plates again? Seriously? Oh my god, back in a second. Okay, so I made some more plates. One thing I've learned, I need to make more plates. I need a, a, se a separate plate building facility so I've got enough building up. So I don't have to manually build them all the time. Right, let's brought that out level with this. Uh, we need... I'm glad I jumped there, otherwise I'd have fallen off. Uh, need to put these in. And some of these. Nice, that looks nice. I like it. Right. Have we got enough plates now to finish off? Let's see. So we want to bring it out. I'm going to bring it out to the middle of this one. One, two. Like that. You can come over to here. Down to the bottom. And then across so that you line up to go in here. What's that? Oh, fix it's telling me off for playing too long. Well, there we go. We have our frames sorted out. So I'm going to pause once more just for those frames to get to the top so that we can see the... Fu oh, oh, power. Power, guys. I've not done power. We're going to need to take power from over here, I think. So, is there a spare one? Yes. Let's bring that over this way. Nice. Powered up. Right, I'll be back. Okay, so finally they are turning up at the construction facility and I have noticed that I have not put down anything to store the output. So, let's put one of these down here like this and connect this up just so that we have outputs. We, we need a thousand of these eventually, which I think is going to take a little while for the game to create. Uh, so I might have to run this offline uh, eventually, uh, just so that it creates everything in time for us. But let's see the first item come out. He says, anticipating that it's going to happen at some point. Oh no! I've made another boo boo, guys. This doesn't even need to come up here. Oh my gosh. <sighs> right. So, the steel, first of all, needs to be put into a constructor by the looks of it. So, we need to actually construct the steel into something first. So let's put one of you down. Is that in line with them? No, there. They are there. Right. Right. So this needs to be made in steel beams first. Steel needs to be made in steel beams. And then we have the assembler doing the assembly work, uh, which needs to line up now. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to move things back a bit. Ooh. I've made so many mistakes in this episode, it's... I'm gonna blame it on my bad back. I've got a re I don't know what I did, but it just hurts. It just hurts. It hurts a lot. Right. So that's lined up. Nice. Let's just put that there for the minute, just so we can get this finished. That wants to come down there, and this wants to go into there. And that should be at right angles because of the way we lined it up. Nice. Right. So because we had a lot of frames 
can stick them just straight in. Uh, and this needs to be powered. There we go. We have, we've got power. Now this has got to be making steel beams though. Which, this only creates 15 a minute. And that needs 30 per minute. So can we split this into two? Um, no, this needs 60 steel a minute, which we're not even producing 60 steel a minute, I don't think. So we'll just leave this going for the moment. But yeah, look, we're going. Nice. We want to see the, the first product of our labours, though. So, let's get this down. There we go. Alright, now let's climb up on top and have a look at the first product to come out of this machine. Here it goes. It's making it. I don't know how long it takes. Come on, give me a still modular frame thing. Have you not made it yet? Oh my god, how long do you take? Oh, there we go. Yeah, no, ooh, yeah, yeah, there it is. Oh, it makes two. Nice. There we go, guys. So we've got to our modular frames at last. Okay, so I'm going to end this here because this has been a long time in the making and there was a lot of running about and all sorts. And I got so much wrong. Anyway, if you've enjoyed watching this episode, then please give me a thumbs up. And if you have not already, please consider subscribing to my channel. And I'll see you in my next episode. Thanks for watching. Bye.